let me just clarify this before we even get into the video. The word dupe. I'm not going to throw it around lightly in this video. I have the word dupe in the title for SEO purposes. However, as a makeup reviewer, I definitely notice the extreme finer details about a product more so than the average person. So for me to use the word dupe, it has heavy, heavy, heavy weight. Anyways, what's the purpose of this video? These are viral dupes that you might be seeing on the internet that I approve of, that get my stamp of approval of being dupes. But the underlying meaning to when I say dupes is actually alternatives. Because you know what? I do notice some very, very minor differences between these products. But nonetheless, I think that these are great alternatives to the more expensive product and you do not need both of these products. The word dupe on the internet just behind the scenes has very heavy weight because everybody's looking for a dupe, meaning people are searching for it. So people are using the word dupes when maybe they aren't exactly dupes, myself included, right? I want the views too. But just so you know, I will be sharing with you the differences, but more or less, these are dupes that I've seen on the internet that I've tried and compared these products, and I think they make great alternatives and they're pretty similar enough to where you don't need both. I will have a viral dupes I don't approve of coming up very, very soon, but we'll start off on a positive note. Now this first product is actually a dupe dupe, not an alternative. It's so much of a dupe that I no longer have the more expensive product and I wasn't gonna purchase it for this video because they work pretty much the exact same to me. It's going to be the ABH Brow Freeze Gel and the ELF Brow Lift. So yes, believe the influencers when they say these are dupes of each other. They perform the same and they look the same. Now here's here's my little caveat. I am gonna put this through my brows while I'm talking. I don't necessarily love either product from either brand. They don't have the longevity and strong enough hold that I'm looking for because they don't dry down hard. I like when they have a harder dry down. But so many people have had enough success with this product that I still feel comfortable enough telling you that these are dupes. They both don't work out how I want them to, but they do work out the same, and so many people love the way these products work. So I am putting them in this video because they absolutely are dupes. This I think is honestly one of the strongest dupes in this video in terms of being the exact same. So if you're looking for a product like this and want to save yourself some money, definitely go for the e.l.f. It's a lot more affordable. You'll see e.l.f. kicks butt with their dupes and this is one of them. I think I have like three e.l.f. dupes, four e.l.f. dupes in this video. They're like half this video. They do a really good job. Next viral dupe that I definitely approve of is the e.l.f. Woe Glow Sun Touchable Sun Protection and Makeup Primer for the Super Goop Glow Screen. Now for me, the e.l.f. is more of an alternative as opposed to an actual dupe, but I think they work similarly enough and the price point is different enough to where I would recommend e.l.f. over the glow screen and I really like the Super Goop Glow Screen. Now the Super Goop Glow Screen, which is what I'm applying on my face right now, it has an easier sink into the skin. It, it sinks in quicker. I personally feel like it soaks in a little bit better. So that consistency is definitely going to be the major difference here. I'm going in with the e.l.f. now. The e.l.f. is thicker. You can see it has more of a white cast, if you will, when blending in. It just takes a little bit of extra work. And if you want to get into the major differences, the Super Goop has a little bit more of a glow. But these do the same thing, more or less. And the price difference is vast enough to where I can say that the e.l.f. is definitely an alternative that I approve of. I feel perfectly happy having either, so I think that this is a good dupe that the internet discovered. The next dupe that I have is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, which is duping the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Wow, so many e.l.f. products. <laughs> For me, I have to say, this is definitely a dupe dupe and not even an alternative. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Milk Makeup on the more expensive side. So it comes out like this. 
and it pretty much is a very sticky base. It does have a little bit of a hydrating feel when you first apply it, but as it sits on the skin, the skin becomes tacky, and the idea is that makeup is going to stay on longer because of that sticky consistency. And e.l.f. managed to match that sticky consistency. So I am totally being transparent with you and what I tell you is a dupe dupe versus an alternative. And I just think that the e.l.f. is a dupe dupe. It does pretty much the exact same thing with a different price point. Finer differences, the milk makeup I think spreads out a little bit easier, soaks into the skin a little bit easier. But in terms of long-term performance and feel on the skin, I really personally don't notice a difference, so this one was a good one that the internet found. So while I know this video is about the viral dupes, I did have to throw a few of my own personal recommendations because I wouldn't have enough for this video, that's how picky I am. But this is a dupe that I discovered and I am really happy about it because these are unique formulas. The Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer is a great, I'm gonna say alternative because they aren't identical, but it's a great alternative for the Makeup Forever HD Skin Concealer. Now they're gonna look different because they are different colors, but bear with me here. Let's explain what I like first about this Makeup Forever HD Skin. I don't have a foundation for today's video, so I'm literally just gonna put this all over my face. But this HD Skin Concealer is unique to begin with because it really doesn't give the most amount of coverage, which is counterintuitive when it comes to concealer. But I honestly like a light coverage concealer because sometimes I don't want that extra amount of coverage. Sometimes I want something light and I don't want to pull out a big foundation bottle if I'm looking for something with lighter coverage. Sometimes I just want to spot conceal lightly to make the area look more even, which is, as you can see, exactly what this HD concealer does. From Makeup Forever, it's so good. And there's not a lot out it on the market. But Essence launched this Keep Me Covered, and like I said, it is gonna be looking a little bit different just due to the shade that I have. It's quite light. Now, the biggest difference here that makes this an alternative versus a dupe is the Essence is a little bit more flat. I feel like the Makeup Forever has a little bit more of a dew to it, but it, they have the similar idea that it's lighter coverage, but still really malleable, really lightweight on the skin. When used, it just gives an overall more natural coverage that evens everything out. So if you're looking for that type of vibe, the Essence is great in place of the Makeup Forever, but Makeup Forever is a little bit more glowy, so keep that in mind. Alternative, not dope. But they are both a unique style of formula that you just don't have a lot out on the market. This next one is another personal one of mine, but I had to because I recently discovered it and I was like, yes. So the Honest Beauty Cream Cheek Blush, which is an amazing little cream blush here, is a great alternative slash dupe to the Bobbi Brown Hot Rouge for Lip and Cheeks. Let me be clear, not color dupes here. I'm just using what I have. So the Bobbi Brown, you're never really gonna have to warm up with your fingers. So that's why this is more so of an alternative. The Honest Beauty, you do have to warm up with your fingers, but once you warm it up, it feels exactly like the Bobbi Brown, but that is what is different. Other than that, I feel like they apply the same. They look the same. They're both gorgeous products. And I love this Bobbi Brown. I love putting it on my lips for a little bit of color. And I'm pretty picky about that. Now the shade's a little bit light, but with a lip liner, it would be gorgeous. Quick, easy on the go. Again, Honest Beauty will take a little bit more warming up, but then it'll start to feel the same. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend this out. The Bobbi Brown is also giving a little bit more of a glow, but that also could be because of the concealer. But nonetheless, these are super similar formulas and if you're looking to save a buck, more than a buck, the Honest Beauty is a great alternative for the Bobbi Brown. Now this one is a very viral matchup and I 110 
thousand percent agree with it like if you have one you're okay without the other elf did such a good job with their liquid blushes and they were definitely coming for rare beauty and i think they did a phenomenal job now what is not dupable here is that in the elf colors they really only have glowy finishes, whereas Rare Beauty has glowy and matte finishes. I'm layering here, so, you know, it's not going to be the greatest demo. This is the Rare Beauty side, but yeah, the e.l.f. has only a glowy finish and the Rare Beauty has matte and glowy, so that's the major difference here. But there is room for e.l.f. to add on to their formulas, but for now they do just have a dewy kind of formula but I just feel like these apply the same minus the finish they look the same they have a similar level of pigmentation if you've been unsure about picking up the rare beauty due to the price I do think you will be just as happy with the elf ones so elf did an amazing job on that that is one of my favorite dupes of the year truly this next one, I don't know necessarily how popular it is, but I do agree. If you have the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Bronzer, you really don't need the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm gonna use the Benefit here. This is just a classic bronzer. It looks good on so many people. It's just one of those really solid formulas. But by touch, if you're comparing it to the L'Oreal, the L'Oreal is more silky feeling in pan. You might get a little bit more fallout, but I just feel like the blend, the application, the overall look and vibe on the face is very similar to what you're going to get with Benefit. So if you're looking for that versatile, just solid, good powder bronzer, from the drugstore. This is the drugstore equivalent of that. It's from L'Oreal. You might have to tap your brush off a little bit, but I mean, application is pretty much the exact same. Overall effect on the face is pretty much the exact same. So it's an alternative because it doesn't feel the same in pan and is not necessarily an exact shade dupe, but they do the exact same job in terms of the bronzer market just at different price points here. So if you're looking for that versatile bronzer, definitely go for the L'Oreal. If you're looking for something a little bit more affordable, they did a great job with that. Went ahead and popped on my eyes. Let's finish up the face. So these are, I would say, pretty much dupes of one another in terms of performance. They do the exact same thing. The Milani Make It Last setting spray is a dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter. I mean, like, if you're looking for a long-lasting setting spray in Sephora, you go to Urban Decay. If you're looking for a long-lasting setting spray at the drugstore, you go for Milani, and they both are fantastic. So I'm just going to spray the Urban Decay. They do smell different. Let's get the Milani. I kind of like the softer, more sweet, fresh smell of the Milani a little bit better. But yeah, I mean, these are dupes. They do the exact same thing. Let's finish off with lips. This one is a personal one of mine, not a viral one, sorry. But these are pretty much the exact same thing. I'm going to say alternative, but... They do the same thing. So the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, which is already a popular and viral enough, is a dupe, well, alternative, is an alternative for the Rare Beauty Matte Lip Creams. And the NYX came first, by the way, so maybe a Rare Beauty is a dupe for the NYX. Anyways, it's that souffle kind of feel. So it's matte, but it doesn't have a dry down like a liquid lipstick would. So it's a little bit more hydrating. Or let me say it's less drying than a regular liquid lipstick. The NYX one is also that exact same souffle formula. Different colors. I had to go with what I had. So they're close. I'm using Los Angeles from NYX and Courage from Rare Beauty. I say alternative, but honestly, these are basically dupes. There's hardly any difference. The Rare Beauty maybe has the slightest bit more glow to it, but not even. NYX is a little bit more matte, but these are dupes. If you like this Rare Beauty formula or you want to try it, go with the NYX because the NYX formulation of this actually has a lot more colors available than the Rare Beauty does. So this is definitely a case where I'd say go with the dupe over the actual product. More expensive side, dupe side.
don't pay attention to the colors, but look at the finish and how everything wears. Very, very similar. The side does have a little bit of extra gleam to the face. This side's a little bit more flat. But other than that, the face looks pretty much like a whole face of only one product, not two sides. So anyways, those are some viral dupes as well as dupes that I've discovered within my own collection that I approve of, that I think, you know what, you're not missing out if you are buying the more affordable alternative. I think the dupe word is used way too loosely here on social media, so I just wanted to bust those myths for you guys, tell you what's really up, what's different between the two and which one is more worth it. Obviously for this video, I think the alternatives are definitely worth it, but stay tuned because I will have dupes that are not worth it, that are not dupes in my opinion. Let me know some viral dupes that you want me to bust the myths of down below and maybe I can just do a myth busting video of dupes. That's a really good idea. I'm going to write that down. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I'll have links down to everything down below. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.